I'm flies. In a blink of an eye, most of 2022 has passed. Do you have a certain grasp and countermeasures? For iPhone's screen market in the second half of the year? If you still have any doubts, then you must watch this video. In the first half of the year, we've made relevant screen market analysis of iPhone 10 series and above models. Compared with the second half of the year, can these contents be a certain referential suggestions? What changes have taken place in the market now? In this video, on the basis of the previous content, we will explain the market situation in detail of iPhone screens made by the third party. In the second half of the year, iPhone screen that made by the third party has always been a model with the largest market volume and high market demand in China. I believe that you are more interested to the price of iPhone screens. iPhone screen that made by the third party, whether it is OLED screen or in cell screen, have been dropping in price since the beginning of the year. Let's look at the specific situation one by one. Look at flexible OLED screen first. Due to the relatively small quantity of molds for flexible OLED screen in the market, screens of 5.8 inch, there are only DCL, TMA, K and D, Edo making them. Screens of 6.5 inch or even less. Currently there are only DCL, K and D, and Edo making them. Among them, Tianma's 5.8 inch glass production line has been stopped since March this year, and the project has not continued to be invested. Currently on the market, whether it is a 5.8 inch or a 6.5 inch screen, only TCL, K and D, and Edo are mainly selling them. How are the market prices of these three flexible screens? The price of TCL is relatively firm. From the beginning of the year till now, the price fluctuates around $1. There is not much change basically. As for the price fluctuations of K and D and Edo, are relatively large. K and D and Edo, the 5.8 inch grade A screen made of flexible glass, has dropped by about $5 from beginning of the year till now. Between them, K and D's flexible defective screen, grade B, have many on sale at low prices in the market and it is almost a frequent visitor to live streaming rooms. So the prices are relatively chaotic. K and D, Edo's 6.5 inch screen, are relatively stable. From the beginning of the year till now, the overall price reduction is about $1.5.3. Let's take a look at the hard OLED screen. What are the hard OLED screens? On the market, we've also introduced them in detail in the previous video. If you are interested, you can go back and have a look. Here we mainly look at the market price fluctuation of hard OLED screen. At present, whether it is K and D, Edo or Truly Opto, the price of grade A screen has dropped from about $30 at the end of last year to about $23 now. And the overall reduction is nearly $7. Compared with the beginning of the year, the downward adjustment is relatively large. However, some people who may not feel much about the price changes of OLED screen, because from a macro perspective, the market of OLED screen this year is generally relatively stable. As for the reason, since almost all the low-end phones of various mobile phone brands use OLED screens, even the central control screen of the car panel are generally inclined to OLED screens. The production capacity of OLED screens is relatively tight in terms of market supply and demand. Whether it is flexible or hard OLED screen, the price is relatively strong and there will be no significant price diving. In the short term, in contrast to the in-cell screen, the market this year is very exaggerated. We've also talked about the market of in-cell screen in previous videos. So what is the current market price of in-cell screen? The price of the 5.8 inch in-cell screen, like Intelux, AO, etc., has dropped from $25 at the beginning of the year to the current $16. The price has dropped by nearly half. In addition, this year, has came out 5.8 inch out cell or one cell glass molds of truly opto and hkc the price of these low-end screens is now around 13 dollars compared to the price level of pfd screens in the market last year cut in half directly the price of the 6.1 inch xr in cell screen has also dropped a lot at the end of last year the price was about 30 dollars now whether it is intelux mantix all or tianma whether it is LTPS or HD quality, the price is basically between $15 to $19. As far as Chino Tech knows, starting from October this year, several new 6.1 inch HD glass will join the battlefield. 
and the price may further drop less than $15. Here Chino reminds our friends to pay more attention to market fluctuation of 6.1 inch glasses at the end of the year. The price of the 6.5 inch incel screen is no exception. At the end of last year, the price of 6.5 inch screen was more than $30. Now, the price of XS Max has dropped to about $22, and the price of 11 Pro Max has dropped less than $30. Moreover, the 6.5 inch glasses, new HD glass will appear on the market soon, and it is expected to drop further by the end of the year. However, people need to pay attention that the screens made by the third party mentioned by Chino refers to the TFD screen assembly of gray day glass produced by major factories, not the defective assembly screens that you see in the live streaming room. iPhone screen that made by the third party this year is expected to continue until the end of the year. Generally speaking, the price of OLED screen is relatively stable, although it may fall, but the price reduction is unlikely to be too large, especially flexible OLED screen. Because of the excessive demand of OLED screen glass, leads to the low production capacity, TFT screen, whether it is 5.8 inch, 6.1 inch or 6.5 inch, whether it is full HD, HD, or LTPS, whether it is in-cell, one-cell or out-cell screen, whether it is with or without transcoding chip, no matter which screen, cannot escape the downward trend in prices. The fundamental reason is that, with the investment of Intelux and TCL LCD 10th generation lines, the cost of LCD panels will be further reduced. So the price of TFD screen will further drop. I believe that everyone can know the price trend through the price fluctuations of Android this year. In the next video, let's take a look at the market situation of the screen made by the third party in the second half of the 1213 series. Follow Chino Tech. Take you to know the first-hand screen market information.